FTM against BTC. FTM against BTC. Phantom. Ooh, look at Phantom. Phantom is um rising higher. Um, there is significant uh, volume, right? Uh, signi is it significant? Okay, no, it's not exactly significant, but we are rising higher, right? Uh, and this is actually very good. Uh, any clear signs of a bearishness? No. FTM is still pretty strong. Very bullish and more likely than not. So we're going to see a recovery rally. I don't think this is the all-time high for FTM BDC. We're going to see more likely than not another all-time high. In my opinion, based on what I see, FTM BDC is still very strong towards the upside. So if anything, we will still see more upside to come for FTM against BTC. The only question is how much more higher will FTM go against BTC? Will we see a new all-time high? Very likely. Um, will it be a very strong um, spike up? Ooh, that's the question. Is it a strong one or is it a weak one, right? The weak one might get us a uh, double bearish divergence, right? We might head lower and this could be the completion of a head and shoulders, right? Things could turn bearish or, or uh, we could continue higher, right? Uh, and then this could be the completion of a, hang on, one, two, three, four, yeah, wave five, right? Heading towards potentially, yeah, past 10,000 Satoshis. We could head towards uh, 10,000 Satoshis. So in my opinion, uh, I think there's still more upside to come for FTM. Uh, things are still looking pretty bullish. We're still above the skinny pink line. Uh, and if anything, we're expecting more upside to come for FTM against BTC. Uh, for the recent dip uh, for BTC, excuse me, FTM has not been dipping um, terribly, right? We'll be only dipping a little bit, little bit, just a tiny bit. So if anything, more upside is expected for FTM BTC. FTM against USDT. But the only thing is, it's not tradable. I would not be taking any trades for FTM BDC because there's no clear tradable chart patterns, right? FTM against uh, USDT. Yeah, again, look at this. What a tiny, tiny, tiny correction. So weak. Uh, the selling pressure is so weak. If anything, the uh, buying pressure is much, much higher. So we would still be expecting more upside. I don't think this is the all-time high. I think more likely than not, we should be seeing another all-time high for FTM against USDT. Both pairs, USDT and BTC, FTM would very likely see new all-time highs. I don't think this is it. Um, yeah, I really don't think this is it. Anyway, FTM could see some sort of a correction lower, right? Uh, to be honest, if we get an ABCDE, Ooh, this will be perfect. We will take trades for it if this happens. But at this point of time, I don't see it yet. I don't see any clear signs of a proper uh, bullish continuation and neither do I see any bearish reversal. So we will still remain bias bullish for FTM against USDT. However, however, I feel like the end is not too far away, right? This is a one, two, three, four. We're already in wave five and impulsive waves usually come in fives and yeah, we're already at the final. It's, it's the final countdown. It's the final countdown. So even if you were to go higher, uh, form a new all-time high, again, my guess is this will be a double bearish divergence. Uh, and then we could be heading lower, forming a head and shoulders, and then collapse, right? So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we could still head towards uh, $10 from here, right? We're $2, we could still head towards $10, but I don't see the um, consolidation that will bring us to $10. Just because I don't see a consolidation doesn't mean we cannot head there, right? It's just that um, as a trader, you want to have an edge. Uh, and right now I don't have the edge uh, for trading FTM towards the upside, right? I can also, I mean, I also cannot guarantee that we're going to hit higher, right? Even when I say we will form a new all-time high, I use the words very likely. The things can also go wrong from here for FTM. So no guarantees, no clear tradable chart patterns, um, no bullish continuation chart pattern. We cannot be taking trades for FTM against USDT. Not at this point of time. Um, yeah, like I was saying, things can still go very, very wrong. We could get a descending instead. And then we could be hit, hitting much lower for FTM against USDT. Both pairs, USD and BDC. But yeah, uh, based on the strength, based on the weakness of the deep, I think more likely, more likely than not, there should be a new all-time high. More likely than not, right? So yeah, be very, very careful about going to a trade too soon, right? Uh, if I were to, I mean, if you, are, if you were to ask me, would you take a trade for FTM? My answer is no, not on USDT, not on BDC, unless we see high quality tradable chart patterns. All right, I guess that's it for today's Crypto TA. I hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you in the next stream. All right, see you. Ta-ta.
We're gonna check out the comments. Comments, comments, comments. Jesse! Okay, let's check out. Jesse says, Great job, Skinny! Always calling it straight and forward the way it is. Thank you very much for the kind words, Jesse. Jesse! Thank you very much. Um, Alright, I guess that's it for today's Crypto Tea. I hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you in the next stream. Alright, see you. Ta-ta. Bye. Comments, comments, comments. <laughs>